Are you curious which is a better place to live, North or South Dayton? Well, after living in the Dayton area for over 20 years and working with tons of buyers, there's always a debate between these two areas, North versus South Dayton. Everyone has their opinions, but after exploring both areas for years, I'm gonna give you the scoop in under 15 minutes, promise. Here's what you won't find in other YouTube videos or blogs when trying to pick between these two Dayton areas. To really compare them, we need to break them down into three key factors that matter most when you're searching for your new home. And if you stick around till the end, I'll make it simple and share exactly who should and shouldn't live in North or South Dayton. I'll even tell you which area I prefer. So first up, location. Does North or South Dayton have a better location? Because in real estate, you know the saying, location, location, location. The main divide is I-75, a major north-south interstate that runs through Dayton, providing a central transportation artery for the region. It connects both areas to other parts of the city and to nearby cities such as Cincinnati and Toledo. But to specify, let's start with North Dayton. The biggest draw here is being close to downtown and the business district since a lot of folks work in the city. Uh, North Dayton is best known for the north of I-35 and the river connecting it to downtown Dayton and other communities and making an easy connection with the Dayton International Airport. Those who prefer North Dayton tend to be young professionals working downtown. The short five to 10 minute commute is highly valued and empty nesters also love North Dayton for its walkability and cultural amenities. They frequent the Dayton Art Institute, live music at Blind Bob's and dinner at Solar. Neighborhoods like St. Anne's Hill, Grafton Hill, and the historic South Park have historic and charming homes that many people enjoy. Up north, it can also be slightly easier to get to places like Indianapolis, Chicago, Cleveland, and Detroit. Now let's talk about South Dayton. It appeals to more middle-class families with kids attending the local schools and professionals working at area hospitals like Miami Valley and Sycamore Medical Center. Families are drawn to the abundance of parks and recreational areas like Grant Park, uh, they offer sports leagues and some family-friendly activities. The mall and shopping plazas on Austin Landing and the Green appeal to their suburban lifestyle, as do the chain dining options. South Dayton neighborhoods like Wilmington Place, Yankee Trace, and Fox Hollow cater to larger families looking for more space. And you're closer to Cincinnati, Lexington, and Louisville for an occasional bigger city fix. But location is just one of the three important pieces of the puzzle. The lifestyle's next because you have to love where you live, right? So which has a better lifestyle, North or South Dayton? Don't think it's all business up here. North Dayton has a cool urban vibe with cool arts and music scenes. We're talking galleries, indie theaters, summer music festivals, good stuff. And you can't beat the food options from taco trucks to high-end farm-to-table restaurants. Plus, you've got access to big venues like the Schuster Center and the Dayton Dragons uh, baseball games. So for convenience and culture, North Dayton might be a winner. But you know who really is a winner? You. After you hit that subscribe button, you can get notified for more Dayton area videos like this. While South Dayton is further from downtown, it's got its own charm too. These areas are all about the suburban lifestyle. Bigger brand stores, restaurants, and neighborhoods with giant garages. So if you want a quiet place to raise a family, have a space to spread out from your neighbors in your own yard, then South Dayton is for you. Don't worry, you can still have fun here. South Dayton has awesome metro parks, golf courses, and malls to fill your weekends. Being closer to Cincinnati it does have some pretty massive perks. We get to go down all the time uh, to shop, eat, and football season is upon us, so you can find us um, tailgating at the Bengals games. With more affordable homes, South Dayton attracts a lot of families and professionals, so North Dayton is more urban and cultural, while the South goes more suburban. The last on the list, what's the difference between North and South Dayton homes and the real estate? In North Dayton, you'll find charming historic homes built in the early 1900s in architectural styles like Craftsman, and Tudor and Victorian starting around two to three hundred thousand. Neighborhoods like St. Anne's Hill and South Park have beautiful historic homes on smaller lots with front porches and rich character. Recently renovated homes in downtown adjacent areas like Webster Station and Wolf Creek they run around three to four hundred thousand. You get walkability and urban perks but less space with typical lots under a quarter acre. Value comes from location over size. South Dayton, on the other hand, offers larger family homes, often 3,000 plus square feet, new construction from builders starting around 350,000, subdivisions with homes on a third to one acre lots, loaded with the suburban extras, 
granite counters, finished basements, community pools, etc. South Dayton neighborhoods also have higher appreciation values on homes. $400,000 home in Centerville could sell for $600,000 just five years later. Low supply is fueling bidding wars over the popular areas like Springboro, Centerville, Kettering, and Oakwood. So North Dayton wins on vintage charm and urban living, while South Dayton takes the prize for family size, new construction, and long-term value. But who really wins? Before we get into that, if you're curious about the different neighborhoods in Dayton, then download my free Dayton Neighborhood Guide. Whether you're moving or want to know more about the different areas, this covers everything you need to know and your top questions about Dayton neighborhoods. So who should versus shouldn't live in North or South Dayton? North Dayton may not be the right fit for those with long suburban commutes, residents who value privacy and space over walkability. North Dayton is a great fit for young professionals who work downtown, childless couples looking for culture and walkability, empty nesters who want to downsize near amenities, anyone who values historic homes and urban living, South Dayton might not be ideal for. Urbanites accustomed to a car-free lifestyle, older adults hoping to downsize near amenities, anyone seeking historic homes over new construction. South Dayton is ideal for middle-class families, especially with school-age kids, uh, suburban commuters working at hospitals, office parks, those seeking more affordable, larger detached homes, anyone who wants a quieter pace and recreational spaces. Personally, I prefer South Dayton because all of my extended family is either in Cincinnati or Kentucky. It's already hard enough to see them with just like things getting in the way. I need to, I don't really want to put more miles between us. So if you're having doubts, I hope this video helped you with them. Deciding is a difficult thing to do, but I'm here to assist you in whatever you, whatever I can, and I would love to help you choose the perfect house for you and your family. All you have to do is email me at carriedawayrealestate at gmail.com to get started. Also, don't forget to check out my newsletter in the description if you want to stay updated with everything about life in Dayton. And if you like this video, then you'll love my video about the best Dayton suburbs to help you decide where you should live in Dayton. I'll link it up top here, so make sure you check it out. And I will see you in the next one.